experience in our first match. So let's get to, let's get down to the compound women's team bronze medal final coming right up. So the Italian team out onto the field of play first. Marcello Tonioli leading them out. Followed by Irene Franchini and Viviana Spano. The Italian team ranked six in this tournament this week and ranked 11 in the world. Here they are taking the applause of the crowd here. First up out on the beach in Antalya. They wait for their opponents, the team from India, who will be about in a few minutes. Here they come in their bright pink uniforms. The Indian women's team of Divya Dayal, Jyoti Sureta Benam, and Sinal Mandari. Average age of. The archers in this team, 19 years old, so a young team waving to the crowd. Yeah, that's incredible. That's so young, especially out in this field. It'll be interesting to see what happens, how they do. It certainly will. I mean, they're, they're, they're very uh, closely matched up this week. You know, India qualified in fifth, Italy in sixth. So, you know, this week, not much to choose between them, but actually the Italian women much more experienced. Right, and that's a team, I mean, we know them well. Most of them have a lot of success individually and in teams, so they've been here multiple times. Absolutely, Tony Early's a, a multiple uh, world champion in the, t in the team events, and, yes. and, you know, she knows all about it. We'll, we'll wait to see. It'll be interesting which order the archers shoot in, won't it? Because, you know, so much depends on who shoots first right. and who the anchor person That's is. That's always well. a big debate and trying to figure out what's going to work best. So, India will get us underway. They're on uh, target number one. They're in the pink uniforms, as I said. And they open up with an eight. And sometimes that happens, like the first shot is like getting used to it, sighting in. I mean, they haven't been on this field yet, so they'll probably tell each other like, okay, this is what happened, this is where I aimed. And the, the practice field is right next door, isn't it? So there, there, we go. there you go, so a 10 for Mandari. And this is Venam to finish up the first three arrows for India, 18 so far. And a 10 for her as well. So that's a really strong start, isn't it? 28 Definitely, points yeah. from a possible 30. And they look very confident and calm coming off the line, so they, they knew it was there. Yeah, they do, don't they? So this is Franchini to kick off for uh, Italy. Ten. Nice start. Smash that one right down the middle of the target. Spano will go next. Usually the order stays the same throughout the match, isn't it? That's something that they practice, mm -hmm. getting up to the line, getting away again. So they use the minimum amount of time. A nine for her. So they've got a one point advantage, really, if you think about it at this stage. And, and it will be Tonioli, vastly experienced, to finish up their first three arrows of this six arrow end. Where it goes, and another 10. So just a point in it. You've shot your first arrows as a competitor now in yeah. the match. How's that feeling? It's almost a relief. You're like, the first one's over. The rest is going to go smoothly and good. I mean, you can only hope for that at least, but. Ten, Ten for Dial. She's only 15. Wow. So, you know, that's some composure, isn't it? Eight yes. with her first arrow, 10 with her next. She's kind of remedied that little margin, hasn't she? Yeah. A 
Ben Harry with another 10. The smile. <laughs> yeah, and the fist bump with the coach. I mean, you know, they, they they rely heavily on the coaches now, don't they? Just to keep them focused, I think. Yeah, a lot of the coaches Please. for us, we just want someone who will keep us relaxed and having fun. And... So all 10s apart from those two eights, 56. So that's, does that open the door slightly for Italy to, to edge? You know, I might, but it's going to be close. I mean, there's evenly ranked teams and... Nine. Franchini with a nine. So an X and a nine for her first two arrows. She'll be happy with that, I guess. Probably. You always want all tens, but <laughs> keeping in the gold's good, too. Eight. So a little bit of pressure now on Tonioli, a 10 to level the scores after the first end. Eight. And it's an eight. Yeah. A little bit of bobble in that bow you could see oh, on the close-up. So. Yeah, so what was going on there? Do you think that was a little bit of wind just taking that or what was what was happening in her technique there? You know, it's hard to tell. It's, it could have been the pressure from Kayani and Shuten, but with how much experience she has, and you can see some of the flags. My guess is a little bit of wind and then the timing thing. In team rounds, you don't have time to let down if the wind, you feel it coming. So just make the best shot you have. And For sure, because you can't, I suppose, last arrow of your team you, you, you've just got what your teammates have left for you exactly. on the shot clock, don't you? Um, and that's we just watch that in slow motion. There, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing to me how how still the frame is. How you know how still right. you guys can maintain that shape. <laughs> So you can see the scores of the arrows being marked. And India do have a two-point lead over Italy. Remember that maximum of 240 to score. Not going to happen today, of course, but uh, in this match. But a two-point advantage for the Indians, which means that the Italians will shoot first. So what are they going to be trying to do right now? They're going to probably try to just start off strong, put a little bit more pressure on India, see what happens. And because those first three, because then they switch off. So then they're in their head, they're thinking, OK, Italy just shot this. Now we need to match that or shoot better to keep our lead. So Franchini will start off for the Italians. An X and a nine with her first two arrows. So she knows how to find the gold. Ten. Another 10 for her. So the little routine they go through when they walk off the line. Do you share any information there about the shot? I mean, sometimes I think every team's different. A lot of them want to stay focused on their own shot and some want to communicate and they might wait till after mm. they shoot the three or they might do it right there. So maximum points for Italy with their first two arrows. Shot clock ticking down past 70 seconds remaining as Tony Early takes aim. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean that really swings the pressure back onto the to the Indian team, doesn't it? Because they've got to try and keep pace with that now. That's right. their that's keep their that lead, lead from the first end almost eaten up, isn't it? <laughs> Directed it into the it almost looked like on that one. <laughs> So this is Mandari. Her arrow's away. That's a nine. So a fine line now between the between the arrows. Just a point really in this in this end. Mm -hmm. Venam goes next. Eight. And she lands at eight. So the total 
They've cut the lead to just a point now. Well, not even. They're, it's switched, so they lost that point to... Yeah, those three tens for Italy really making the difference there. No. They're still keeping in the goal, so they're happy. Spano. So 48 points for this end. The final arrow this end for Italy. The wind's picked up a little bit. You can hear the flags Eight. fluttering, and that's reflected in that shot, isn't it? Definitely. I mean, on some of them, you can see your thumb coming on and off that peg. It's like trying to time that wind. A lot of it is timing on when you release that shot. So back with India and the 15-year-old Dial shooting very well so far. Ten with her last nine. arrow and nine with this one. So 91 plays 110 at the moment as Mandari takes aim. Wind's dropped again a little. Ten. She takes full advantage of that. X10 right in the center. Yes, that was a great shot. So a nine will bring the scores level here on the beach in Antalya. Ten. And it is a 10. Right, so we've got 111 for India and 110 for Italy. So Daniel, we were saying, you know, that, uh, we've got a very experienced team in the Italians and a much more junior side in, 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 um, in India, but actually a point in it at the halfway stage. That's, that's, that's quite incredible. I mean, that just shows anything can happen. I mean, they all are great shooters. So it's just, you're either having, like, they might be having fun because they're excited and the other one might feel a little pressure. Like, we've been here before, we know what we're doing. And then they feel like it's an expectation that they almost have to win. So it's definitely an interesting matchup. But, and that's why the scores are so close. They keep flopping back and forth. And the wind's definitely playing its part, isn't it? And, you know, in, we're in the finals weekend, of course, but everyone's been shooting on a different field up to now, haven't they? So we're a few, mile, a few miles away with different conditions entirely. So, you know, the moment the archers come out onto the field here, they're shooting in this environment for the very first time. Aren't they? Right, so it's a totally new field, different wind. I mean, the wind might be in different directions than we've been used to all week, so different lighting. I mean, everything plays a little bit of difference in, in your shot and mentally you're trying to just stay calm and just focus on your shot in that situation. So at halfway stage here, what's your coach saying to you right now? If you're one point ahead. <laughs> <laughs> keep it. You want that one, you know, you just want to keep making the same shots. They're shooting good, so if they just keep doing what they're doing, they should be set. A few more tens and they're golden. So Italy then sat on 110 points at the halfway stage. Their team is Irene Franchini, Viviana Spano, and Marcella Tonioli. And it will be Franchini who will shoot first. The bright blue of the finals venue must be a factor as well. It must make the... It must be very, very bright out there. Turn for Franchini. I know for me, I wear glasses, and so I don't usually get to wear sunglasses ever. So some shooters might, none of them, but she, she has them on her hat. So when she's not shooting, my guess would be pull them down so you're not squinting the whole time. And Spano's nine. arrow is away, and that's a nine. So a nine and a ten to start for Italy. Ten. 
10 for Tony Oli. 29 for the end so far. That shot there really actually captures as well the distance, doesn't it? And the, re the real challenge. You know, you're trying to hit something that's about the size of a CD <laughs> and it's 50 meters right. away. Right. When you first picked up a bow, you think, I'm never going to hit that in a minute. No, with you. you start with it right in front of you, the target, you're like, yeah, I hit it. <laughs> but they all have confidence that they can be in the gold more often than, than not no. now. And that's just hours and hours of practice that Definitely. takes you to that point, isn't it? With such a young team for India, I wonder how school plays a effect in that. Do they train all day and just do school on the side? And how that all works? I'm not sure how to do it there. That must be tough to balance, balance life everything. and archery. You know, thousands and thousands of arrows you need to shoot in practice, really, don't you? To, I mean, to can keep that consistency, it's definitely helpful to be able to shoot that many. So, Venam, the anchor archer eight. for India eight. with an eight. So 27 plays 29, and we're back level now with the total score for 139 each. Very tense. Yes, I'm like, oh, what's going to happen? <laughs> ten. But the coolest person in the whole place is Frankini, lands another 10. Fantastic effort. Nine no. for Italy, bringing their score for this end to 48 and their total to 158. Finishing up is Tonioli, steady as a rock on the shooting line. Away her no. arrow goes, right into the dead center of the target. Just Tell us a little bit about that inner 10 ring. Why is that relevant in, in, in compound archery? For the X, a lot of it is yeah. like ties. So we shoot off, so you obviously want closest to the center. So you want to hit that X, and it'll help for if there's any ties. And But it's still a 10. 10's a 10. Still get the Nine same points. <laughs> and you see on the scoreboard there that the, the inner ring represented by an X. Um, not like a strike in bowling, but you know, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's still a 10, as you say. Psychologically, when the margins are very narrow, you know, your X's really count, don't they? Because you think, I'm closer, I'm closer. Definitely. Yeah. You're like, I'm making that much better of a shot. I mean, a 10 line is good because you still get the points, but when you shoot an X, it's like, I did it. I'm, that was a great shot. So a bit of a rogue seven there for Mandari of, of India. Ten. Dragged back into it by Venam, finishing up with a 10, three quarters of the way through this match. And it swung back in favor of Italy, actually, now, and they've got a three point advantage. That's quite a swing in, you know, four points in, in one end. Yeah, definitely anything can happen in these fields. It's that one arrow sometimes. And you gotta shoot the tens to make up for it, and so anything can happen. In one end. It's probably worth looking at the totals of these and they lost. So, you know, although they're leading in this match, they know they can probably shoot a bit better than, uh, than, than what they are. So, you've got two arrows left per, per archer. I mean, how, can you, how do you cope with that kind of expectation? The pressure you put on yourself, apart from anything? Yeah, a lot of it, it's a team effort, but you still, like, individually, you want to shoot the best shot you can, so you keep it for the team. You don't want to let the team down and just make the best shots you can and at that point you have your friends or teammates or however they are supporting you that they just want you to do the best you can too a little bit of a cheer from the crowd always helps too doesn't it just to yeah just to know that they're watching and cheering you on okay so final end six arrows for each team and it will be Dial to open up for India. No. Those shots away, and it's a nine. 
the shot clock ticking down. 120 seconds, two minutes split over those six arrows. And Mandari takes it up. Her arrows away and a 10 for her. She's shot pretty consistently throughout the whole match. That Definitely. little rogue seven just in the last end. But beyond that, you know, really very, very consistent. Then I'm probably the most experienced of the three. I would say she's the archer I've seen most on the circuit, I think. You know, I'm not super familiar with anyone, but she does. I believe I've shot qualifying with her a couple of times. So I have seen her in the past. So 28 with the first three arrows, just dropping two points. Yeah. 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 first arrow is a maximum, yeah, confident shot. Yes. You said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sun is really beating down here now in, in Antalya. A little bit of wind taking the edge off the heat, but it's still very, very hot out there. Yeah. Another X for Italy. Not dropped a point in this end so far. What can Tomioli do? Nine. Nine for her. So one point lead in this end and a three point lead overall. So the lead cut slightly. But, you know, 29 with three arrows, that's the Italians. What are they saying to the Indians there? They're saying, you've got to come and get us, right? <laughs> Definitely. They're not going to give it away for sure. <laughs> ten. So 10 with the final arrow of the match for Dial. Nine. Uh, nine for Mandare. So they are 213 points now. So this will give them their final score for the match. Nine. And it's a nine. Two, three, two, two, two. They finish off. Which is actually their lowest score of, of the tournament. Right. Yeah, they shot really well for all their matches to get here. And a little lower. Ten. Italy with a 10. They're really taking charge of this yes, match. No they argument. know they have it. Just a couple more shots and it's theirs. But that so face, they hope. <laughs> you, well, that, that creates its own problems, doesn't it? When you can see, you know, you've just got two arrows to go. You've still got to shoot them. You definitely. <laughs> And a 10. I was going to say, sometimes those are the hardest two arrows, but they're making it look easy right now. So six to win for Tonioli. She shoots six for breakfast. So, you know, let's see how this one goes. Be nice for her to finish with a 10. And she does look at that group. And it is Italy who take the bronze medal here in the compound women's team final on the beach here in Antalya, Turkey. Daniel, what do you make of that match? What, what did you enjoy? I was exciting. I was like on the edge of my seat. Tell me how you're going to go. The points kept switching, and that's super exciting. But they know they've been here so many times that they had that confidence, and that might have been what they needed. Yeah, I mean, the India are definitely the challengers there in, in, in that situation. But I mean, they ran the it was a five-point game in the end, so you know that's, that's, a, that's a pretty convincing victory in compound terms. But actually, they didn't walk it either. They no, had to earn. They that. earned that one definitely. They shot great. And they know it too. Well. Yeah, they did, they worked really well together. And they, one thing you could see on their faces, although that they were very focused on the shooting line, actually, as soon as they step away, the smile comes back. And, yes. You know, the team ethic is there. And that's it? where the fist pumps and the coach comes in handy, just to keep everything. Like you want to be focused on the line, but then just having fun when you're off. So congratulations to Italy. They take the bronze medal. Don't forget that Tonioli shoots again in the mixed team event with uh, Sergio Pagni. So she's got another chance of a bronze medal later on in the day this afternoon. So that'll be a, a good...